everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a loading screen in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, go to uh, Starter GUI and then add a Screen GUI. Then we can just call this Loading Screen. There we go. Then press Ignore GUI Inset. And Reset on Spawn, turn that off. Then we can add a frame. We'll make the frame uh, zero background transparency. Make sure border size pixel is zero if you want that. And then we'll change the color and change the size to 1010, which makes it the size of the screen. Okay? And then we can name this to main. And then we can add a text label. And then this one will be, it'll say loading. Okay? And then text scaled, source sans bold, make that white, and then just change the background color to like a darker version of this. Okay, and I guess we'll size it up. Looks pretty good. And then make sure that we convert this to a regular scale. And on this one, we're just going to make the loading screen. So this one will be. Um, Alright, well, first of all, we need to make the index of this higher. And actually, hold on. Okay, if you go right here, you can go to index behavior, make that global, and it does stuff like that. Um, I guess what we'll do here is we'll put this under here so what we do is we make this zero background color mm -hmm. is going to be same color as that but um, change this back change this back okay and then make this one under it okay then make the background transparency zero, copy the color, paste it into this one. Okay. And then we'll add a frame. Actually, we'll just copy this frame and paste it right into it. Uh, but get rid of the text label. Okay. And then we'll just shrink that a little bit. Oop. in the middle put this one in the very middle and then we can change the color of this to something even darker and that's going to be the loading screen now we actually need to shrink this there we go so then it's going to load like this all right and now we might need a little darker Perfect. And on this frame, I think I will make this have like border pixel, a white border pixel, and um, with a background color also. What is this one? Um, yeah, I think I need to just make that the same color. Oh, and then the border size pixel make that white. There we go. That actually looks pretty cool. Just make that a little darker. And maybe have it like that. And there we go. Now we have a good loading bar. Uh, and then make sure you use on all of this. Select everything and just press plug in scale. Okay. And then on the frame, we're gonna call this um, main, or actually, we'll call this loading bar, or loading frame. And this one down here is loading bar. And then this one is just label. Dot dot dot. 
Okay, and we can also make that do like dot and then dot and then dot and it'll look pretty cool. Okay, and then on the loading bar, we're just going to make the size zero and then we'll change that later. And I'll probably make it just a tiny bit darker. There we go. Okay, and now we're just going to add a local script. And then this one will be up here. And then you can go ahead and drag this into replicated first. Okay, and then in the local script we'll call it a uh, loading. And we'll do local GUI equals script dot parent uh, dot loading screen or wait for child loading screen. Okay, and before we do anything else, we got to go up here. I'm going to do script dot parent, which is replicate store uh, replicate first, and then we're going to do a remove default loading screen so that gets rid of the normal loading screen and then we can also do um, up here we can do game dot starter GUI dot sick uh, core GUI enabled and then all false okay and then game dot GUI and then dot set uh, set core GUI enabled and actually that should be fine that should be fine okay then what we can do is we can make this uh, bar load that's in here so local main equals GUI dot main local loading frame equals main dot loading frame local loading bar equals main dot loading bar Oh uh, wait. Oh yeah, I did um loading frame dot loading bar local label is loading frame dot label. Okay. And then we can do um like something to make it load up. Uh so what we're gonna do is for i equals one a hundred do and then we're going to do weight 0 0.005 or 0 02 actually and before that though um, actually instead of that get rid of that we're going to do tweening so just do loading bar tween size and then we can do udem2 dot new and all you gotta do is one zero one zero okay that's all we gotta do for that one and then while loading bar dot size is not equal to udem two dot new and then one zero one zero do Weight 0 0.05 and then loading or label dot text equals dot 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 weight 0 0.05 label dot text equals dot dot or make sure you do loading dot 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 equals label dot text equals oh no um label dot text equals loading dot 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 okay and now we're done with that and then we're gonna do uh, after this tween also you can do the you can do the easing direction and stuff so go out of that and then do enum dot easing direction dot out enum actually do in enum dot easing style uh, we'll do quad quad's a pretty nice style for that and then finally what we're gonna do is get rid of the GUI when it's done loading so uh, repeat or no also do 
end. And then, um, oh yeah, this is automatically gonna go. So then just do loading bar, and then we need to create a tween. So local tween equals game get service tween service create and the instance is loading bar or actually we can do main okay and then after you do create that uh, we do tween info dot new and then we'll do one second enum dot easing style dot quad get rid of everything else and the property table will do uh, it's called transparency transparency equals to one so it's going to tween that and then tween play um, and then we can do after tween plays we don't need to do anything else all right and also we got to set the uh, GY to the actual player so GUI dot parent equals game dot players dot local player. And as you can see we did get an issue. So if we drag this here, go back here, um I think what happened is Oh yeah, uh dot player GUI, my bad. And it's loading and everything worked pretty easily so after this we'll just do wait four or actually wait three and it went really fast holy cow um I think there's a number that you can do oh yeah there it is one let's try that um Let's make that three. Uh, that's pretty off. I think that's zero point two. Try that again. And then it stops. And we also need to do the same thing for uh, 22. We need to do the same thing for the other one, which is a uh, loading frame. And now that should be good. Now I think the issue is also the loading bar. Yeah, it needs to be a lot darker. I like that better. Now if we press play, we should be finished with everything. Um, what is it tweening? Loading bar. Oh yeah. Uh, do this again. Copy tween two. Point three, and then a uh, label. Try this now, and it works. Awesome. Um, now I think another issue is for this one. If we're tweening the size, and it should be working but it's not and um not really sure why let's see here let's uh get rid of this and try something else we'll do tween size and let's read this um okay tween size udem2.new 1010 and easing direction. We don't need any of that. Just um, you can just do this. I think you can just do blank. Then put three. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Well, I guess we can, we have to do that. Our easing direction in enum dot easing style dot in oh actually dot quad I'll see what happens oh there we go okay now it's working I don't know what we messed up but it just wasn't working before um oh okay the issue was I used the brackets don't use the brackets all right, well, now we know what it is. After then, it loads, and it needs to get rid of everything, so. Make another tween again, last tween, and then we'll finally be done. Loading bar, and now we're done. So here it is, it only takes one script. It takes a second, and it loads. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.